Hi, this is Tudor P, and this is Word Origins 422. The word origin today is heartthrob, and we got three meanings and three uses. Okay, so I'm going to do a screenshot, do it now. Let's get right to it. All right, here's the first one, a handsome male celebrity. That's the main one that we use it for. Number two, the object of one's desires. Again, usually probably a young, handsome male, but not necessarily a celebrity. Number three, a heartbeat. Okay. Uh, the term heartthrob first appeared in English in the early 1820s, and at that time it meant passion or affection. By 1939, it was used to mean a beat of the heart. Uh, remember, if we say a person's heartbeat throbs, it means it beats much harder and much faster than usual. So, boom, 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 like that. Um, in the late 1920s, one started to use this term to refer to people, especially young male actors. One of the first was uh, Sesu Hayakawa, a Japanese actor in the film The Cheat by Cecil B. DeMille. Uh, however, the term was greatly popularized with Rudolf Valentino. Numerous actors were labeled this over the decades, such as Cary Grant, James Dean, Elvis, Paul Newman, Richard Gere, Brad Pitt, Johnny Depp, Leonardo DiCaprio, etc. And just to name a few, and of course there are many, many more. Let's continue. And we got five examples here to show just how it's used. That lifeguard is a hunk. He is a real heartthrob. Now this, of course, would probably be a, a young, handsome male that's not a celebrity. Number two, the teenage idol has become a heartthrob for many young girls. Okay, good. Uh, Harrison Ford proved he was more than just a heartthrob uh, after showing off his acting skills in many serious dramas. So you could, you could say it that way, that somebody could be more than just this. Uh, number four, even though the term heartthrob is mostly used for young male celebrities, it sometimes could be used for a female. Okay, and our last one here. In his youth, David Beckham was a heartthrob in the world of soccer. Okay, anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it was clear. I hope it was very informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.